Extraordinary Attorney Wu stars respond to drama's skyrocketing popularity plus pick their favorite scenes. The stars of Aina's Extraordinary Attorney Wu have shared their thoughts on the success of the hit drama. Extraordinary Attorney Wu tells the story of Wu Young Wu, a young lawyer with Asperger's syndrome who joins a major law firm, played by Park Eun Bin. Due to her high IQ of 164, impressive memory, and creative thought process, the brilliant Wu Young Wu graduates at the top of her class from the prestigious Seoul National University for both college and law school, but she still finds herself struggling when it comes to social interactions. Describing her reaction to the popularity of the show and her beloved character, Park Eun Bin remarked, For me, I already loved Young Wu, so loving Young Wu each and every day was very familiar to me, but viewers gave Young Wu more love and interest than I'd expected and I'm sincerely grateful for it. I feel so pleased and satisfied that there are so many people welcoming Young Wu's story. Park Eun Bin also shared that since the drama began airing, she's received many letters from viewers on the autism spectrum and those who work with them. I was grateful that they understood the aspects about which I had been careful and recognized my desire for, my portrayal of Young Wu, to not be distorted, said the actress. As for why the drama resonates so deeply with many viewers, Kan Tayo commented, I think it's a warm story that heals everyone, and so it has also found its way into viewers' hearts. As a viewer, I, too, am rooting for Wu Young Wu and the people around her, and I feel touched and find little joys, in the story, as I watch. The actor also confessed that the incredible response received by the drama has made him emotional at times. Each of the actors loves and cares for their respective roles, and I think, viewers, also love all of the characters just as much, which makes me choked up with emotion, he revealed. Meanwhile, Kang Ki Young humbly remarked, as this is a difficult time for the entire world, there aren't that many reasons to smile. So it's a huge honor just to be able to put a smile on all of your faces. He went on to joke, I saw a comment saying that I was sexy, which was a comment I didn't think I'd ever be able to see for the rest of my life, so I'm extremely grateful. The actors also chose their favorite scenes from the drama thus far. Park Eun Bin recalled, The day we filmed the ending scene for episode 8 was the first day that I met lawyer Tai Su Mi, Jin Kyung. Young Wu asking her birth mother, Do you not remember me? was so sad and so painful that when I said the line out loud in real life, as opposed to reading it in the script, I became choked up with emotion. I teared up and got much more emotional than I'd expected while filming, she continued, so it's a moment that stands out in my memory. Meanwhile, Kang Tai-o picked the memorable scene in which his character Lee Jun ho tells Wu Young Wu that he wants to be on her side. I think it's a line that does a great job capturing Jun ho's feelings for Young Wu, and I think it's important that he says it simply and calmly, without needing any modifiers or flowery language, he explained. Finally, Kang Ki Young chose the heartwarming scene in which Wu Young Wu tells her friend Choi Si Young that she's like sunshine on a spring day. It's a scene that made me realize that words have the strength to change people's lives, said the actor. Regarding Wu Young Wu and Lee Jun Ho's budding romance, Park Eun Bin shared, I wanted Young Wu and Jun Ho's romance to come off as harmless. I tried to portray Young Wu's fluttering heart, as well as her growth, with a pure and unpolluted vibe so please keep an eye on it. Kang Tai-o added, rather than forcing love or emotions onto Young Wu, I think it's important that, Jun Ho, treats her with sincerity. I hope that viewers will also keep an eye on this kind of emotional connection between Young Wu and Jun Ho. With the drama entering the second half of its run, the stars also teased what viewers can look forward to in its upcoming episodes. When asked what viewers should keep an eye out for, Park Eun Bin replied, Young Wu's growth as she continues to encounter a wide variety of cases and a wide variety of people, as well as everyone's improvement. Personally, I really like the final episode, she went on. I felt a lot of pressure as an actress regarding what Young Wu tries to say, because it sums up everything that's come before, but as someone who had been passionately rooting for Young Wu up until the very end, I was able to wrap up the drama with a warm and fuzzy heart. The actress continued, there are so many different kinds of people in the world who are all living their lives in their own unique ways, but, this drama, made me think about the fact that we are all living together. 
Whatever you felt while watching Extraordinary Attorney Wu, I'm truly grateful that you tuned in. Kang Tao also chose growth for his main keyword to describe the drama's second half. As we enter the second act of the drama, I think it'd be good to keep an eye on how Jun Ho and Young Wu grow together and their journey of seeping into each other's lives, he said. I hope Extraordinary Attorney Wu will be remembered as a drama that you can always take out and watch again whenever and wherever, as well as a drama that always remains by our side and gives us comfortable laughter. Finally, Kang Ki Young noted, one by one, there are more and more people around me starting to say that Extraordinary Attorney Wu is their favorite drama of all time. As an actor, I think it's an incredible blessing that a drama in which I appeared can be a positive influence on viewers' lives. Please give us lots of interest and love up until the very end. He playfully concluded, there's still a second act left to go, in which the chemistry between both the Han Bada lawyers and the actors will become even stronger. Everyone, are you ready to have fun? Act 2 is starting. Extraordinary Attorney Wu airs on Wednesdays and Thursdays at 9 p.m. Korea Standard Time. Jang Jury to leave Fromis 9 following contract expiration. On July 28, Cledis Entertainment announced that Jang Jury will be leaving Fromis 9 since her original contract with her former agency has expired, and she has not signed a new contract with Cledis Entertainment. Going forward, Fromis 9 will be promoting as an eight-member group. The agency shared the following statement. Hello. This is Pledis Entertainment. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to all the fans who have shown unwavering support and love for Fromis 9. We would like to provide some information regarding the future activities of Fromis 9. Fromis 9 will become an eight-member group starting from this coming August and will meet fans for their upcoming activities in Japan as well as other various activities scheduled for the second half of this year. Fromis 9's fifth EP from our Memento Box will be the last promotional activity of Jang Jury as she wraps up her time as a member of Fromis 9. She will conclude her contract earlier with us as of July 31st to embark on a new journey. The eight members of Fromis 9, Lee Serum, Song Heyang, Park Jiwon, Ro Jisun, Lee Seon, Lee Chai Young, Lee Nagyung, and Baek Jihyeon, signed new exclusive contracts with us when they transferred to Pledis Entertainment in August 2021. Jang Jury maintained the conditions of the original contract with her former agency, and Pledis has been in charge of tasks including the management of her team and individual activities. The artist and the company made the decision after careful consideration and discussions on what would be the best path for everyone. Please continue to send your love and support to Jang Jury, who has always committed to do her best as a member of Fromis 9, and to the eight members of Fromis 9, who will start a new chapter of their careers. Our company will continue to support Fromis 9 to help them grow as artists as they continue their activities in various fields. Thank you. Jang Jury debuted as a member of Fromis 9 in 2018 following the Net Survival Program Idol School. She is currently gearing up to star in a new SBS drama. Wishing the best for Jang Jury and Fromis 9 going forward. What are your thoughts for this news? Share your thoughts with K-Pop Radar on the comment section. And by the way, I'm really sorry if I pronounced name or title wrong. I hope you enjoyed the video.